今ならルイ・ジルドさんにも勝てたり Hell no to the no 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 Hell to the no A few moments later <笑>Um, which he eventually shaves off, and I think we all can say that that look is a little bit weird. It doesn't really fit、uh, with his bald head. But they eventually leave and they're continuing their adventure. But at the end of the last episode, we also saw Roxy on a ship heading to a town, probably the same town that they just left. It really did feel like last episode was not a finale, but just a segue into the second core. So that's where we are right now. So. Enough talking, let's get into it. Okay, we got Eris back. Ooh, this. Already some fire ass animation? Oh, damn. What the fuck? She just took off all her shit? Why did that jump look so good? We got pterodactyls in this shit? What the fuck? I love these t y p e of intros to seasons, like episode ones, where like, they play the song and then they. Continue like showing you stuff. I think that's dope. Wait, are they, the, are, they, are they at the same port? They're literally gonna see each other, aren't they? Mad Dog e r i s Guard Dog r u j e r d All just like dog names? Let's take his name. It's probably gonna be some dumb shit. What? Rudy r u j e r d Why do they call him the same? I don't get it. He didn't even get a cool name, bro. Oh, 2000 green ore coins. You have to pay that much for a super to get on the boat? What the fuck? How are they gonna get all that? Green ore coins sound like some crazy denomination. We're meeting today to discuss. He said, get a fucking job. Damn, these motherfuckers sleeping in caves and cells and shit? What the fuck? Yo, they're down bad as hell. They really need some, they need some cash and fast. What the fuck? Oh shit, we haven't seen this guy in a while. It's been a year? A whole year since he last interacted with the, the god of this world. I totally forgot about this guy, to be honest. Oh god, I can't wait to hear your fucking advice. Buy food from a street vendor and take a walk. What the fuck? That's the shadiest shit I've ever heard in my life. Hell nah. It's so funny though if you compare like this deity to like the deity in, um, In, um, in, in, um, in, um, in, um, in, um, what's the name? To your eternity? Yeah, if you compare those two, they're like so different in far, as far as their mannerisms go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what the hell? The animators of this show really just like pop off, dude. Ooh. Ooh. That's so clean, bro. She has like one of those pirate swords. Damn. Oh, she actually got him. And she's like actually becoming like a great fighter. That's the crazy part. So you got you got Rudius, who's more of a ranged spellcaster type, and then you got、um, Eris, who's gonna be like a close range, like swashbuckler or some shit. Whoa! I'll rub one out later. Oh my god, it took me a second to realize what the hell that was. It's Roxy! What the fuck? But they, is it like a monster or like a human? It's been 300 years since my. Oh, this is the advice that, uh, this is the advice that the god gave. He said, feed someone in the back alley. So, who is this monster? Oh, is this not, um. We. We. Oh, that's very loud. Chill, chill, chill out. Isn't this, like, the one. Yeah, this is the one we saw, like, in some of the scenes. Isn't she, like, a god or something? She's, like, also, like, a very powerful being. But probably gonna be an ally now that he fed her. I think it's a her. I'm not sure. <laughs> he really thinks she's just, he really, bro, he really thinks she's just a regular ass human. Oh my god, this guy's in for it. He doesn't even know how strong she probably is. 
What the hell? Why did her eyes just change? What the hell is that? Fabulous wealth. Half the world. Holy shit, you got big dreams. Your body will do? Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, it's gonna be a trap. This is a trap character, right? Oh my god, they're at him. Bro, they are immersing me into this shit for no reason. What the fuck is this animation? Why is it so good right now? Demon eyes? Whoa, is she about to give him a power? Is he about to get a power up? Wait, what? Wait. What the hell? Bro, she just ripped his eye out and gave him a demon eye? Yo, he just got like a passive buff. What the fuck was that? Randomly? What the fuck is she doing? The Eye of Foresight? Oh my god, that, that shit looks so weird. His eyesight looks like when you wear 3D glasses. You know like the old school 3D glasses, the red, red and blue ones? And you're not looking at the movie screen. That's how that shit looks right now. Who the fuck is this? So what is this Eye of Foresight? I guess it shows in the future. Whoa! Hey, yeah. did he just save her? He just saved him. I mean, yeah, he just saved him from the pot. So this guy, so he got future sight. That's pretty cool. Luffy got it first, though. 12 demon eyes? Oh my god. A demon emperor. I want to see her I want to see him fight. Probably turns into like a beast or something. So it took him a week. It took him a week to get his eye. What the fuck? No shot. I control my mana to adjust my vision. I'm gonna have mana focus in the eye changes. So he can see into the future. What the fuck? If I use more mana, I can see two seconds. Oh, okay. So it's not that long. He's not like broken. But he can see up to like two seconds. If he relies on that too much though, then like, I don't know. It might hinder him. And then a headbutt. Ooh. Damn, yo, he's good at this shit now. Nope, she's gonna throw him. I knew it. Oh, and she's still, he's still. Yo, let's go, Rudy. Oh, she's gonna cry. Hell no, there's no shot he could beat Rudy. Are you crazy? Give it a try. Oh, no, dude. Yeah, he got. <laughs> Bro, what did you expect to happen? She was catching up, but then, like, I don't, she wasn't really that close, but now, like, he's, like, completely above her league. I'm not supposed to power- oh, well. That's exactly what you did. It's like when you're on a mission in a game, and you just, like, stop halfway to go, like, level up real quick, and then come back. <laughs> just visiting a brothel. Oh! Oh, I mean, that staff can come in handy, bro. The mage kink? What the fuck kind of com- what is this conversation right now? Would you sell this to in the certain circumstances? Damn. How are you going to sell another man's necklace, though? What the fuck? You can't do that shit. Why would, I would never let that happen if I was Rudyard. Why do you even ask that question? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't do that shit, bro. And this is coming from Rudyard. The guy that's, like, always been alone, and then he finally warmed up to people because of you. And, like, now you want to do everything alone. You can't do that shit. You can't just make close friends like that with Eris and Rudyard, and then and then just not, you know, accept their help. Don't. Damn, they're that desperate for money. No, you can't sell that staff, brother. You need that shit. This is, like, real-life shit, though. <laughs> as far as, like, fantasy worlds go. Not every character, not every group is going to be balling, you know? Bro. That will be the nail in the coffin for Eris, bro. You cannot sell the staff that she had made especially for you. That's fucked up. Damn. Dude, Rudy, Rudy is uh, Rudy is a real one, bro. He's willing to stop his, like, goal in order for Rudy to, like, find what he needs to find. That's a real one. Hmm? What? Is someone here? Oh, this fucking guy. I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't trust this guy. It's the middle of the night. There's no one here. And then he shows up. No shot, bro. 
Nah, nah, I don't trust him. Get the fuck out of here. Alright guys, that was Mashoku Tensei episode 12 or episode 1, whatever you want to call it. But I'm so glad to have this back. Similar to 86, uh, the return episode of 86, this episode sets up a lot for the future. We get to see the condition that Rudius is in with Eris and Rudyard and... The simple fact is that they have no money, they've run out of money, and the core issue is that they won't be able to get Rudyard on board the boat without making like what, like 2,000 green ore coins, which is apparently like probably the highest den denomination or something, but they said even if they do a bunch of S rank missions, it won't be enough, so that just shows you how desperate they are at this point. Desperate enough that Rudius considers selling his staff, something that Eris made especially for him. Uh, in order to get some money but i don't think he's actually gonna do it because uh, that that would be a lot he kind of needs that stuff we see that some time has passed um everyone's gotten a little bit stronger especially Eris with her physical combat skills uh you know Rudyard's still Rudyard, but the interesting thing was that rudius gets a power buff this episode straight off right off the bat and it was just so simple and straightforward too so let's back up a bit so rudius you know ends up meeting the deity the god of this universe again and apparently it's been one year since they met uh and i was saying this during the episode but just like comparing this guy to like the deity into your eternity is just so interesting because they contrast so much with their personalities i would love to see like an interaction between the two of them that would be pretty funny but he meets the god and the god pretty much gives him some advice uh i guess it's a little bit of a little bit of a shortcut but he told him to feed uh, feed someone in the back alley or something like that and so rudius sees like a homeless person seemingly and he feeds he feeds him and it ends up being the same character that we saw in some scenes last season where they were showing stuff around the world and like different characters and stuff and so we see that this person ends up being a demon emperor and very comically very randomly just pulls uh rudius's eye out and gives him a demon eye instead but i gotta re i gotta respect the way they showed that because there's actually some blood and like there's crying there if you look at series like naruto whenever they try to like implant eyes or anything it's just like a quick touch of the hand and suddenly you have a showering gun this eye that he's gotten is pretty much the eye of foresight it essentially gives him the power to see into the future a little bit um by like one or two seconds depending on how much mana he puts in so he basically has observation hockey now and future sight but you know luffy did it first so we don't really stray too much away from rudius uh and his group this episode we do get a few shots of roxy in the city um she's in the same city as rudius so hopefully they you know come face to face at some point i'm, I'm assuming they will but right now it's just like they're doing the thing where two people are in the same area but they're just like coincidentally not able to meet each other but they're like back to back or some shit you know what i'm talking about so they're doing that right now but hopefully that gets kind of closed and resolved soon but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. It was a great episode, first episode back. They didn't need to do too much, but they also immersed us in everything they did. The animation is on point, art is on point. That opening song, I don't know, I guess that's the opening song I think that they were playing in the beginning as they were showing stuff. Just like 10 out of 10, it was great. Yeah, Mushoka Tensei, good as ever. Great addition to this season of anime with all the other great stuff we got. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop me a like. Let me know what you guys thought about this first episode, or 12th episode of Mushoku Tensei down below in the comments. If you guys aren't subbed already, hit that sub button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.